Okay, friends. So listen, um, happy Monday. Let's start there. Happy Monday. First and foremost, that's what we're going to start off with. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, then you already knew that this video was coming, but yeah, listen, um, I recorded this entire video on slow-mo again, but I realized I recorded it on slow-mo and because my video recorder was not going to catch me slipping again, I'm going back to re-record this. So welcome back to my channel. This is Veronica B. Cole and Company. Um, my kids and family are in company. Okay. Um, today we are doing an office tour. Very, very excited about this because I recently redid my office. Um, it had to be done. Why? Because someone had a little breakdown. It, it's me. It's me. I had the breakdown. So last week, somebody, I saw that someone had asked me to do a tour of my office and I was like, oh, I absolutely should do a tour of my office. Um, <clears throat> but when on Saturday morning, when I woke up, I was just like, I hate my office. I hate everything. And I can't do anything in here. Like it's, it's just not going to work. And so I was feeling that way because of how I had my office set up originally. So very quick story time. Okay. Very quick story time. Now, last year in May, we bought this house. That was after we had been displaced from our rental home. Our landlord had given us 60 days to move out. And I knew I didn't want to rent a home again because I didn't want that to ever happen to me. Like I didn't want to be able to receive an email from someone and be like, you got to pack your stuff and be out in 60 days. I've got three kids that feels really irresponsible to me. And while I can't control what, how they conduct their business, I can control how we conduct ours. So we bought our house. Before we moved into our last home though, my husband had built this beautiful and incredibly functional cutting space for me. Cutting table, I love it. It hits me at my hips. I don't feel like I hurt my back when I'm cutting lots of things. And then it actually lined up perfectly for my projector. Now, when we moved into this house, I used to use a mini projector, which projected from the ceiling directly down onto the um, cutting table. Now, I was determined to be able to use my cutting table as kind of like an island, right? I'm obsessed with islands. I want my kitchen to have an island. I believe in like the island, right? Um, island life, like please, yes, get me together, right? However, it just didn't really work out the way that I had my office set up. I kept bumping into my cutting table or bumping into other things and that didn't feel good to me. In fact, it's really made it hard for me to get comfortable cutting out. If you've noticed, for those who follow me on social media, I have produced way less pieces than I had previously. Um, and that's simply because in my new space, I really felt like my energy was stifled. On top of the fact that I was like already facing a lot of burnout because I was testing all the patterns and I had zero um, ability to set boundaries, but we got that under control. Now it was time to tackle my office and make it a space where I really felt like I had the space to create and that it was something that made me excited and happy to come in here and that I felt like I was like the energy was flowing. For those who are into feng shui, my energy in here was off. So Saturday morning, I was sitting in my office. I hit my husband with a look of, I hate everything and we have to change it. And my husband being who he is was like, okay, let's just do it. So I spent the weekend essentially redoing my office in addition to keeping a lot of children here. I have three of my own and on average we had five children here. No lie. So um, we did that and I am so excited to share with you my space. So I'm going to take you through the tour. As I take you through the tour, I'm also going to share with you just kind of how things were before and why it was so necessary to change them up. So let's go. Welcome to my space. Come on in and let me show you around. Okay, so when you walked into my office before, I had my tables with my machines. And while that was lovely and inspiring, it was just too much when you walked in. Like it felt very cluttered and um, I didn't like that. So instead, I now have this here handy dandy 
um, cabinet. This actually holds all of my notions right now, but that's going to be changing. So I've got in my top drawer and like you see how hard it is to pull that out because someone has stuff overstuffed in here, but that's fine. We'll be changing that. But I've got this board where I can easily take notes, which I clearly do. I have a mirror, my podcasting mic, an extra set of chargers, and then my desk. Now, my desk used to be this corner situation, and it used to be in this corner here. But I love it here. One, we're in the middle of the windows, and that means that whenever I'm recording in here, I will capture some really good light because I do my meetings here, I do my coaching sessions here, and I love that I will always have the natural light coming in, giving me this beautifully filtered look. I also love that I finally have like an under desk storage because I didn't have that before. So my desk was literally a mess. So I put my dress form next to my desk because come on inspiration, right? I love that, um, that there's space in here for it now before it was a little cluttered. And then over to this creator corner, number one, we've got, I didn't change any of this up here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding some more of these spice racks from Ikea behind my computer and up here and we'll be putting all of my notebooks there because I am a notebook junkie. But back to my cubby area, I've got my patterns here that I use. I have a bunch of brand new notions that have not been opened. I've got things for parenting, like I am teaching my son to read, so I've got our books up there. Um, it's got a lot of like just kind of home-based stuff like magazines that I have holistic remedies, that sort of stuff. I've got my embroidery um, software here. These are the notebooks that are going to end up going on the wall. And look at my stabilizers. These are all of my stabilizers. Um, I got a bunch of interfacing stabilizers during a recent sale. And then at the bottom, I have markers. I have both acrylic markers as well as markers that I use for like bullet journaling. And then I've got my AccuQuilt right here. So love that. Now let's take a look at the main area for sewing. So we've got Bernadette here, which is my Bernina L890. And then we've got Brenda, who is my Bernina B590. They both have enough space so that I can add um, the pieces that extend the, um, the arm, which I absolutely love. And then my husband gave me an additional pegboard, which is very, very helpful. I'm getting ready to order some more shelves. Like I love these shelves that I have up here, but I'm gonna order some wire shelves and some wire baskets so that I'm able to store a little bit more in front of me. I'm also ordering um, some button like holders that can stay up there as well because um, I actually really enjoy working with buttons. So I've got up there right now, starting from this side, I've got my embroidery hoops. I've got some like little shelves that just have some random things. My mini Aliso. I've got the threads that are for my embroidery as well as for my sewing machine, my serger threads, all of my cutting things. And then I have some stuff for my Cricut. At the top, I've got, um, this is actually a doll that one of my first coaching clients made me. Um, then I've got two of my favorite cast members from The Sing, my godmother who passed away because I always feel like she's with me. And then I collect black Barbie dolls. So I've got Rosa Parks, the 40th anniversary Barbie doll, Maya Angelou, um, Basquiat, Nina Simone, and a Barbie that's supposed to represent me. And then up at the top here, because I'm that mom, obviously, who keeps all of her kids like drawings and things like that. But up there were flowers that my son made for me last year for Mother's Day. Um, and then in the middle is my degree from Spelman College because we worked hard for that degree when I got my papers to walk. I was surprised, but whatever, right? Now over to this other wall. Now this here used to actually be on this wall. And because of the design of this bookshelf, it can flatten or it can go into a corner. I have three printers on here. My top printer is a black and white printer. This is what I used to use all the time for um, printing out my PDFs. My middle printer is what I use for my kids' activities. And then the bottom printer, which is at the very, very bottom, I use that for my um, for sublimation. 
So it's filled with sublimation ink. It's an eco tank. It's a Canon Pixma as well. And then at the bottom, I have a bunch of um, elastics and sewing supplies. Then on this side, we've got my Cricut heat presses. I also have my embroidery module. I've got a shelf that is for um, like my random kind of Bernina things. Then I've got all of my vinyls for my Cricut. And then I have the printer paper for my machines, my, well, my printers, including my sublimation printer. And then I also have the printer for my, um, for the labels for our store. And then the very bottom shelf, I've got um, another tripod. I also have a laminator in addition to my actual um, binding maker that I, is like that Singer binder. Yeah, I bought that um, after MX Domestic was talking about the one that they had. And I was like, need. And then we've got the accent wall, which did not change. We still have the greenery happening. Um, and this hanger, um, this hanging section, the top part is filled with things that I either have to finish. So I've got a dress that I made from So Stephanie, which is a nursing friendly dress that I made for my best friend. I've got two quilts that I'm working on, a sweatshirt that I still have to photograph, as well as part of my spring pattern that I still have to finish. Um, and then I've got some works in progress right here. And then this is um, also a work in progress. This is the sneaker my sneakers that I have customized, my Jordans. And um, because I still have to put the soles on, I just put everything together right there because I don't wanna lose anything. And then this is the chair that I invite my husband to sit in when he comes to visit because he's amazing. Um, the back of the door houses my sneakers because I love sneakers. This is only part of them. Um, I have the rest upstairs. And then this is another new addition here. I'm very, very happy with how this turned out as well. So on the top, one of the things that I hated about um, just kind of where or how my projector was set up was that I kind of felt like I just was not able to keep the tools that I needed close by because um, like I didn't have anything hanging off the side of my cutting table and it was just hard for me to always be reaching for my rotary cutter, my scissors, etc. So I've set this up. So I've got my pins here, I've got my clips, I've got my Mimi G. Oliso, right? I've got the spray, um, so when I'm ironing, I've got pattern weights, and then I also have a tape dispenser, my tape measure, in addition to my cup here. And then up here, this top area is all quilting stuff, so these are all quilting fabrics. And then I also have my uh, Go Cube that works with my AccuQuilt Go Cutter. And then these are all of my bra making items. I've got all of my larger elastics here. And then I have some random notions down here. This is all photography stuff that actually goes with the camera that I'm using. And then I also have this cart that holds my laptop because my projector has to be plugged in in order to work and this cart makes it so perfect because I can roll it around as I need it. It also contains some miscellaneous items because like you know how you have a junk drawer, I have a junk cart. The top of it does have pattern weights in addition to um, labels. Behind my um, desk area I have more cutting, um, more like cutting mats, I've got gifts that I got from Fiskars, which are amazing in addition to some um, folders that kind of hold some items that I need for whenever I'm preparing my patterns for Nomi. So I'd like to keep them all together. Um, and then we've got fabric all on this side. And then y'all look at my new cutting mat. I just got her. Literally, as I was recording this, she came in. So we stopped recording to put her up. Because yes, um, in case you can't tell, pink is the accent color. I prefer a blush color like this, but listen, we're gonna, we're gonna work with what we have, okay? Um, and then on this side, we do have more fabric, but these are all cameras, lenses, and photography items as well. So um, yes, and then of course, my husband is going to be putting up, using this wall, for some more shelving. So we're gonna put up some more shelves over here so that I just have some more storage space because that was one of the things that I felt like I really needed more of. 
Okay, so I've taken you through my office. I love how much space that we have. Um, but where is my fabric, right? Because I used to have a huge wall of fabric. That fabric is now outside in my garage and I would take you out there, but I haven't finished setting all of my fabric back up because what I have shared with many people on social media is, is that I actually plan to de-stash my fabric in January. There will be a large amount of fabric that I get rid of. So I have to actually go through the fabrics that I want to be put up. Anything that doesn't actually fit on the shelves will likely be sold. So stay tuned for that. If you're like, hey girl, I love your aesthetic and I love the fabrics that you use, you may want to buy some, okay? Um, so I will be doing that. More details on that will follow. I will make sure I keep you all updated. But tell me what you think about my new office and let me know how your office is set up because I love some new tips and tricks, especially for Notion storage. Um, I, like I shared that I do have the drawers for my notions, but I'm actually gonna be getting buckets for those because y'all, the amount of zippers that I have is insane. Like it's truly bananas. And so I think that better search for that in my elastics will be in buckets, but I'm definitely interested to see and hear how you all have your things organized. If there was something that you were inspired by, I would love to hear that as well. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, turn on the little bell for notifications for when I drop new content. Um, thank you so much for joining and thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel as well as having like an actual interest in what I post here. I really appreciate you all. You have no idea how much it means to me when I post something late and you're like, um... I was looking for this video. Yes, hold me accountable. I love that. So I will see you all next week because I have a new fun video that I'm working on this week for it. Um, and as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop them below either. Happy sewing.